Okay. And we'll just see how this works out. Hello, this is... Uh, wait a minute. Is it actually recording? Yes. Hello, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel, and today we're going to watch My Thoughts on Hitler from Trisha Grindhouse Barbie Piatas. I think that's how you say it. I mean, she says it, Piatas, or Paitas. I don't know, listen in the comments below how best to say her name. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. Alright, get this to the beginning. Okay. Here we go. Hi, I'm here with a lovely goat lady, 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 who don't be ashamed, equally with the. So lately, I have been fascinated by German culture as of a week ago when I watched Inglorious Bastards on Spike TV. The best, you know, primer really for German into culture, yes. The whole Germanic way. I found it interesting. I found the men to be really sexy. Uh, yes, Nazis. Waltz They're the sexy. Germanic, ones. and he's the sexiest guy. In this world, I think right now, he so, just killed so I many Jews. It's so with, like, sexy. German culture, so hence why I I don't know if this is German or Dutch, but they're all kind of the same thing. I'm Not fascinated really. with German culture, and more specifically the World War Two era, because <sighs> subliminally I was so, terrible at history. <laughs> I didn't really care about history at the time that we had to learn it through school. I didn't even know World War Two came after World War One. <laughs> about World War Three, like I just didn't know. Wait, what, whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> World War Three. There's one thing I've learned in life is that there's no stupid question. <laughs> someone is texting me. Sorry about that. There are no stupid questions in life because if you don't ask questions, how are you supposed to know the answer? How like your dogs have brains. That's not a stupid question. So I love coming to YouTube because it opens up debate, discussion, and you like we learn things from each other. You know, for instance, my do dogs have brains videos like you know what i learned a lot that canines have brains they're just not able to um like speak when like she snaps speak. her fingers like, her nails you know, are so it long it sounds like someone banging two like nails lot together a lot of heat. you know and nails I like smarter and mm -hmm. i bettered myself and i think that's like the, it's what's the important thing so anyways today is going to be about hitler that's what the video is going to be and i know it can okay. be a little touchy subject um, but I figure, you know, it's been years, you know, it's not too soon, as they say. It's been, it's been years, and in fact, up until I saw, well, it wasn't Inglourious Bastards, it was up until I saw The Producers, the musical, by Mel Brooks, that I realized, like, he was, <laughs> he was, like, a real person. What? <laughs> what? Because, like, um, if you guys saw, what? uh, what's Mel Brooks, um, Blazing Saddles, you know, um... They had, like, a character of Hitler, and then he used him in the producers, and I was, when I saw the producers, like, I realized that the German, the, like, Nazi guy in the movie, played by Will Ferrell, like, like, I realized Hitler, and Hitler was this real person. Oh, and I guess I just did that, but, like, you know, I always watch, like, the epic rap battles of history, like, um, Hitler versus Darth Vader, and, like, I, I guess I just always Darth Vader's a real villain, person, too. But again, like, I didn't know about the history, so I'm, anyways, I'm digressing. So I know it can be a little bit of a touchy subject. I don't think it's too soon, and I'm not anti-Semitic in any, any way. I've had a lot of Jews inside of me, if you know what I'm saying, and Jesus was a Jew. I, I, I love... I love the Jews. I love them so much. Not sure, I, I wanted to know that just, last little bit about all the Jews that have been inside of you. Because I was thinking, okay, so so Hitler killed a bunch of Jews. That's a fact. Yes. Uh, and I don't really know any more facts, but this is what I was also researching. Then, so I I researched like um, I don't know. Like I know a little bit about socialism, right? Because, like, when Obama got into office, like, it kind of reminded me of the things I did remember about Hitler. When Hitler was coming into leadership, like, they wanted change. And that was, like, Obama's big thing. So, like, I'm not comparing the two. But, anyways, I was thinking, yes, like, okay, Obama kind of are. Good stuff for us. Like, I am so on board for Obamacare. Like, I am not a liberal by any means. But I'm kind of going that way because I was like, okay, yay, Obamacare. So then I was thinking, well... Hitler can't be all bad if he had this big following, right? Like, he had this huge following, like The Sound of Music, for example. Ralph in The Sound of Music freaking loved Hitler more than he loved Liesl, and he didn't let the Von Trapp family escape. Um, 
So I was like, why does he have such a following and such a dedicated following? Um, not necessarily now. I don't think there's like a following now of Hitler because like, he's dead. Mm-hmm. Um, which that's the other thing. It's like, how did he really die? Does anyone really know? Because in Glorious Bastards, he was burned in a movie theater, but I don't remember that. <sighs> I remember he, he was shot either, himself. He shot actually. He shot himself, and then he bit on a cyanide that, like, capsule. Like he no, he killed himself or something. He did it know, or like at the him. same time. It was all part of the suicide <sighs> plan like, okay. between him and. So Hitler was Ron. bad. But was there anything good that he did? So here's the thing: Can you outweigh the good with the bad? Like, can evil be okay with the good? You know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty sure like, Hitler can just be considered bad. This, like, blows my mind. Because it's you know, like, like, okay, just in fact, general. Germany got out of depression when he came into leadership. Through fact, slave labor, yeah. Germany. Fact, like, uh, you know, Germany had this sort of, like, uh, rally again. Like, okay, we're gonna... We're gonna, gonna go kill the Jews, we're yeah. Gonna be one. We're gonna be united. Kind of like when Obama came to office there, everyone was like, yeah, we're united. Like, there's one, you know. So I guess the thing is, is one... Why did Hitler have such a big following if he was so bad? Um, like, were people brainwashed, you know? Um, well, yes, how well, did, in a certain extent, yes. What happened yes. to Germany after Hitler left? After he um, died and the like, Soviet you know, Union like, came Germany in and Germany was sort of torn in half in between the... Um, I feel well, like they, is. they are because they're in all the movies. Like, Mel Brooks puts oh Hitler in everything. God. You know, and Glorious Bastards, we got Christoph Waltz, we got Till Schweiger from Germany. Like, I feel like St. Pauli's beer is from Germany. Like, I feel like Germany is still coming back into power. But, so when Hitler died, did Germany lose power and then come back to it? Well... I think it's just a really interesting thing and, a, like, an interesting topic. And I don't think we get enough facts. Like, I try and watch movies, but, like, they're all such conflicting opinions you know this like, is like if someone so gave get, like, a grown up ray to a seven year old Hitler was like a portrait of just Hitler. like i want to be and a grown up like, okay like, <sighs> and then we him, get like, this clearly awful he you know did awful things but i don't yes know he did horrible things, things. But i know that he did awful things so i'm not being like oh okay well whatever but at the same time germany is still thriving you know it took and a long so time for Germany to get back to. You have to work to get me to really not like that. I love Germany. I love Germany and I love the Jews and I love America, you know, but I think it's important to like <clears throat> be educated on this stuff because like I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yay! Yeah. The first fact she said she doesn't know anything. Yeah. I love about World War II. That's the producer of the musical version, um, Inglorious Bastards, and um, Sound of Music. Those are like the three that I get most of my facts from. But like, I would love to know if you guys have any documentaries or books or just anything that's like real and facts and like hard, hard into it. Because like, I'm really big into like learning about our our history. You're not big into learning, right? Because we're in. I guess we're in a World War Three right now or no, something, no. and I, I think it's important that if maybe we knew more facts about Hitler and World War Two, why it started, how we ended it, like, who knows how we ended World War Two? Nobody kind of just ended it, but I think if we're in a World War Three now, like, maybe we just need to end it, and I think that's, that's kind of where I'm at on that, but I don't know. This is Anyways, why I want to move out of this country. To hear I know it's a broad about, statement, so. but... Uh, leave it in the comments below. There's too and many thank people you guys. like. Thank you so much for like. I've learned so much from YouTube, like more than I've learned from movies and Twitter. Like I think it's amazing, and I think it's great that we can have like an open discussion and all that stuff. Because like I want to know more about like Stalin. Like who knows anything about Stalin? That's a whole other topic, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Anyways. Uh, so I'm gonna end this. Okay, I, have, I already had the ending. Cause look, okay, see, I had the the little sound of music dress. I already had the ending picked out here. Ready? Um, okay. I'm not sure. I love, so I long, farewell, as vida zane, adieu, adieu, adieu to you and you and you. <laughs> that was my Germanic. So, anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. High five. Well, that was that, I guess. If you have any videos you want me to watch, list them in the comments below. Um, this is Cute Fuzzy Weasel. I'm going to see how well this does. God. God.
God damn.